Hey everyone, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Now today, our quest letter came to us from Los Angeles, California. Ellie wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious, how do they recycle batteries? And what are batteries made of? Well, Ellie, what a great question. Think about how many things of our lives are powered by batteries, from cars to computers to toys. Well, because of you, we've made our way out here to Battery Solutions in Howell, Michigan, where we're going to learn how batteries get recycled. So let's begin today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. So I'm here with Justin from Battery Solutions. Now, Justin, this is pretty cool because we get this letter a lot. How do you recycle batteries? And that's what you guys do. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about your company, about this process. Well, we were founded about 19 years ago and it started off mostly in lead acid batteries and our owner and our present ownership uh, decided to branch out and get more into dry cell batteries, which would be your alkaline stuff like double A's, triple A's. So we kind of branched out and got into that. And so now we kind of do every type of battery. Okay. Now we say every time battery, car batteries, car batteries, uh, forklift batteries, oh. uh, electric car batteries. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You have the most unique battery recycling process in the business. Is that what I'm understanding? Exactly. It's uh, it's a new process, and it's actually uh, it's one of the cleanest and greenest in the world. And so I understand we're going to be able to recycle what 87 percent of the battery, 91 percent of the battery. How, how? We're actually plant, we recycle 100 percent of the battery. No. We have zero, zero landfill. Uh, every I was part setting of, you up there. Yeah, you you every, saw that, right? Every part of the battery. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> that's our that's our trusted guard dog Lucy. Is, yeah. is it really? Oh, that's great. Okay. That's great. So, so she's part of the the. the yeah, uh, we'll introduce you later. She's very nice. <laughs> that's awesome. So we're gonna learn about how we recycle batteries. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Let's do it. So let's do it. Here's your fun fact. If you consider every conceivable place a battery can be used, then it's probable that there are hundreds of billions of batteries in the world today. So um, there are about, what, 500, 600 battery recycling places in the U.S.? Actually, no, Joel, there's only a couple. There's a handful in the United States that are actually processing batteries here. Really? Yes. Wow. Now, so you're telling me that all the batteries that we recycle at our house are only going to a few places in the U.S.? Correct, and that, that's the problem. Not enough people are recycling. You know, most of those batteries are probably going in the landfills, but the ones that are being recycled are only going to a few handful of recyclers in the United States. Now, I live in California, and we're not supposed to put any battery in our trash can that goes to the landfill. Correct. Is that the same on all the other It is states? not. There's a, there's a small handful of states that have enacted those same laws to prevent any type of battery from ending up in landfills. Unfortunately, there's only a small uh, number of states that are doing that. So oh, wow. I mean, most states, it's perfectly within the law to, unfortunately, to throw away batteries and put them in landfills. Now, tell us, why is it bad to put batteries in the landfill? Um, because you can use them again. I don't know, I guess because it can cause a fire? Because they leak acid and it would corrode and poison our ground and our water. It could be bad for the environment. Uh, they pollute the earth. Because that's wasting batteries. And when they make new ones, they, they got to throw them away again, then they got to do it again, then again, then again, then again. <laughs> because you should be recycling. There's, there's only so many places you can throw away things. Uh, and this is and batteries are not biodegradable. So, you know, you've got things like metal, zinc, nickel, uh, cobalt, things like that that are non-biodegradable and can also contaminate groundwater, uh, potassium hydroxide and, and alkaline batteries. So there's materials in that that don't break down in landfills. And the other thing is it's something that's taking up space in landfills that can be recycled and recycled at 100%. So they're collected from all over the U.S. Correct. 
in either roundups or, or through community efforts mm -hmm. or on your own. Like yeah. I, at my house, I have a box. Absolutely, and we can show you those, but we have a household box where you can put okay. batteries in there. Oh. It has prepaid shipping on it, and you just put it in your mailbox and it gets mailed to us and we recycle them for you. Can we just sure. walk and talk sure. about these? What, what is it? Are these batteries? These are actually uh, hybrid batteries, so these would go into an electric car. Really? Um, yep, most cases they are nickel metal hydride types. Uh, more recently, they're going into what we call lithium ion batteries, so they're changing the technology a little bit uh, for the new cars. So we're starting to see some of the new technologies as well, some, a lot of the old ones. And what did you say those new ones were? Uh, lithium ion technology. Lithium what, ion, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, you know, lithium ion. Yeah, they're rechargeable. Oh, actually, it's a common battery in laptops. You know, oh yeah, yeah, okay, cell yeah. Phones okay. And lithium ion batteries. Okay, now you're talking yeah. my language. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lithium ion, my, yeah. huh? What is a lithium ion battery used for? To, for lamps? Say a flashlight, car, uh, powering really powerful things, such as uh, <laughs> DeLoreans to so go in the future, <laughs> back to the future. Really big stuff that I don't know what they are. Roller coasters, making stuff work. <laughs> uh, for many different things, from radios to lights to whatever you need, hearing aids. Uh, machines for heart attacks, uh, all kinds of things. Do you make them or something? <laughs> no. Do they use that in special equipment or? Uh, hold on just a second, Renee. I'm getting a call here. Ho hold on. I'm, I'm... Oh, cell phone. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. <All right. laughs> We're good. Every type of battery has a different recycling process. So oh. the same way you'd recycle a AA battery is not the same way you'd recycle the lithium ion battery I mentioned. They all use different processes. So, uh, you know, important key to what we do is sorting those batteries by the different types of batteries before they can be recycled. So once they uh, begin the sorting process, they're, they're basically dumped into these different tables. So they come in, mm -hmm. and then you just dump them in here. No, actually, they'd be dumped on the table, and then they're sorted into here. So you'll see these are labeled. So this is nickel metal hydride, NIMH. This is lithium. <laughs> Slow down. Yes. Nickel metal nickel hydride. Yeah. Nickel metal hydride. And it's a rechargeable battery. Rechargeable mm -hmm. batteries. Okay, yep. so let's, let's get that. I like those terms better. Yes, so there's lithium, a few different types of rechargeable cell phone batteries. Cell batteries. Yep. And then you kept saying alkaline, which are the ones that we're familiar with. Right, right? which, you know, we go by household, double A's, triple A's. It's by far the most, there's a lot of those batteries out there. Everybody yeah. uses them in their toys and stuff. You know, when we dump a, a, a small container, you can see how small these other chemistries are sorted into. Well, you can see how big this box is for the alkaline batteries, because that's mostly what we get in. Wow. Here's your fun fact. Inside a battery, heavy metals react with chemicals to produce the battery's power. What is this? So some customers uh, <laughs> prefer to put them in little baggies, which is fine. Um, alkaline batteries do actually do not have to be taped or bagged. Uh, some others do, uh, like the lithium ion we talked about. And so essentially what happens is, you know, these... Oh my goodness. Dumped onto a table. Yeah. You can see how most of these are these, you know, double A alkaline batteries, as we mentioned, yeah. you know. And here's a, here's a cell phone battery. Cell phone battery, Blackberry. absolutely. Oh, uh, here's a battery, battery. pack. And that's these are a, a lot of, uh, like, cordless phones. Right, that's a NICAD, which is a, 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 a basically nickel cadmium is what that stands for, okay. uh, which is also a rechargeable battery. Yeah, your old cell phones or um, but like wireless said, phones. Most of these most are, of these are the, alkaline. Uh, alkaline batteries. Okay. They are all identified. When the manufacturers make them, they do put what type of battery it is there, so that way our sorters can know. You know what I noticed? is that a lot of batteries these days actually do say recycle on them. Yeah, because uh, what happened actually, Joel, is in 1996 there was a battery act passed. And what that act did was, one is it got rid of mercury in batteries. And then they also started recycling and, and pressing for more recycling of rechargeable batteries. And the reason for that is rechargeable batteries have, have more, uh, you know, toxic metals in them like lithium and, and, uh, and nickel and stuff like that, where you don't want that stuff in landfills. Um, you know, alkaline batteries are relatively harmless because they have zinc and manganese. Those are somewhat, you know, more natural and they use them for fertilizers, medicines, all kinds of stuff, but they wanted to get the mercury out of it and they wanted to get more of the rechargeable batteries out of landfills and, and so that's that's when they started putting stickers on them and stuff like that. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's the rechargeable batteries that really create the biggest problem in that current. Absolutely, but the, the, the catch-22 to that is, is there's way more alkaline batteries than, than rechargeable batteries. So as far as landfill space goes, they're taking up a lot more space. So you can imagine this is just today's shipment mm -hmm. of mostly your alkaline big batteries. Wow! Right, we can open some of these up. So we can have a look, but look at this. Unbelievable. Now, how long will it take to fill up a vat like this or a big box like this? Not long, you know, maybe a few days. Yeah, depending on how much we get in, and, and uh, but that doesn't take very long, yeah. And, and we've got, you know, basically we, we send these, you know, to, in a truckload quantities, which is 40,000 pounds at a time, uh, to our other facility. 
for recycling. So, wow. So we'll see a lot more of these at the other facility, but uh, that's what they come in just like this. Unbelievable. And this way, you know, when we sort them, we know exactly what's in it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we know when we run this through our process, it's only alkaline batteries because oh, cool. these guys do such a great job of sorting. Oh, that's good. And you've got several. Yeah, well, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was about seven sorting yep. stations, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Wow. Here's your fun fact. The first miniature battery was invented in the late 1950s. Here's all the different types of batteries we've gotten in, you know, through the years. Uh, you know, it starts with the little small ones over here, which are called silver oxide. I'm trying to, like, like make them relevant and, and, and understandable for everyone out here. These would be in, like, cameras, right? Yeah, cameras are a real popular thing. Uh, watch batteries, you'll, they'll come in, like, a button cell. You'll see the one there, that's a little button, the energizer in the top right corner. Oh, yeah. Yep, so that'll go, like, in a, in a, a, bat, or a watch. Um, and then here's, here's your mercury, which we talked about. Now you see, what you, what you notice there is how old those are. Yeah. So all those batteries were manufactured for 1996, basically. So the lead, again, to give everyone an example of what they're in, is what, computers and what else? Computers, emergency lighting. So you know when those, you have those lights in your office when the, when the power goes down or your school, those lights will kick on. Yeah. If, those, if the power's out, they need to be powered by something, they'll be powered by one of these lead acid batteries. Now, we're going over all this because there's going to be a test at the end of this. <laughs> exactly, oh, yeah. yes. That's right, so lithium. Lithium. We you know that computers and uh -huh. cell phones and you're exactly right you don't see you're learning already yeah i'm, I'm getting down <laughs> those are one of the longest lasting batteries uh there's there's two types of lithium batteries so there's a lithium ion and there's a, what we call a primary lithium okay no now I'm so lost there's two out. different okay, two different you yeah you almost had it and i threw you a curveball <laughs> but the primary lithium is what you'll see here are non-rechargeable so they're one-time use batteries gotcha. so they, they do last longer than any other battery but they're not rechargeable once they're dead they're dead and they're more expensive too they are they're very expensive because expensive. they last longer and lithium is an expensive substance to use to put into batteries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have these. Now, I recognize the base of these. These are like in the bottom of a uh like cordless drills, exactly. So these are the most popular battery there is probably now as far as rechargeables go, uh, which is relatively new, is the lithium ion, which is the other one we talked about. So these are rechargeable. So they're still lithium-based batteries. The difference is that you can recharge these batteries and, and use them over and over again. So of all these batteries, is there a battery that is like more environmentally sound, more environmentally? Not necessarily. I mean, none of the, you don't want to have any of these batteries in landfills, like I said, because they're not biodegradable. And a lot of the metals in these, like nickel and cobalt and even lithium, can be a hazard. This. So, okay. so to answer your question, no, there is really no safe battery for landfilling. Now, some will argue that alkaline batteries are the safest to put in landfills because they have less toxins in them, and there is some truth to that, but the bottom line is it's the landfill space. Gotcha. So they still do have potassium hydroxide in them, which I don't think anybody wants to drink, you know, it gets in the you know, groundwater or something like that. Potassium so. hydroxide, man, I just, I'm going through like a <laughs> chemistry class, you yeah. know? Batteries can be recycled, and people need to know that, so you don't have to throw them away. Sure. Now, what I don't see up here is alkaline. Okay. Yeah, it can be because there's, uh, it's, it's the most, you know, like I said, that it's the most abundant battery. So, so there's so like many of them. Everybody knows Everybody that. knows about alkaline. Everybody knows what a C and a D and a double A and a triple A is, yes. But so yeah, there is no alkaline board here. Because basically, alkaline comes in a pretty standard measurement. There's, there's only a, 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 you know, five or six base types of alkaline. As you see where this board is here, there's all kinds of different ways you can mold and make these sure. in different battery packs and different uses. Where alkaline's pretty much, you have the same eight double A's, triple A's, C's, D's, oh, nine volts. Okay. Can, yeah. can you name them all? Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can name them all. Double A, triple A. Big, small, medium. There's uh, C. D. Tall, long. <laughs> C, double A, triple A. D, and uh, nine, eight, nine volts? Tiny, <laughs> ginormous. All right, so we'll start with the smallest, I smallest, guess. Here we go. All right, so the triple, triple A, a yeah. double, double A. a. Then you have a, a small, uh, C, what is those, nine volt, right? You're asking small, me? Yeah, the small nine, nine volt. volt. <laughs> then you've got the C's. The C's. Yeah. The, and then the D's. The D's. Like the flashlight the, battery. Yes, yeah, and yeah. they also make what we call a lantern battery, which is lantern. those big kind of square ones you've seen. That's more than five. Yeah, so, but that's it. Justin, these are these are big and light batteries. Yes. <laughs> They're yes. not batteries, are they? No. <laughs> There's a whole book. Look at the whole bag of them. What are these? Those are the kits we sell to put batteries in to send back to us. We talked about earlier how we get batteries back to us. Well, this is one of the most common ways. So a lot of small companies, large companies, uh, households, 
Uh, they can purchase these, these kits on our website. They're all inclusive, so they include shipping and handling. Um, and you also get a recycling certificate with some of them, which states the batteries were recycled. Um, and they're available on our website, batterycycling.com, and they range in price from $25 for the smallest one all the way up to $79 for a large pail like that. So now this, this answers the question, because th the most common question about battery recycling that we get, and a lot of places we go to, we've been to landfills and recycle nuts, is how do you recycle batteries? Putting it in a recycle can or something like that. I think we recycle it the way you recycle bottles. I don't know, take it to a recycling center? You have to take it to the e-waste at, at the city, so that's only a few days a week you can take it there, and you can't throw it in trash can, because that's the bad thing. Put it in a recycling place? You put it in a trash can, or use it over and over again. Melissa, what do we do with all the batteries we take out of the battery packs when we're traveling? When we're traveling, we take them home with us. <laughs> we seriously, we never throw them in the trash can, never, because I don't know what the rules are in the different states. But in my state, I know I can't throw it in the trash can, so I bring it back, stick it in my box. Right, so. collecting them is one of the major issues. So like I said, yeah. some people use coffee cans, old boxes in their house. Some people put these right in their garage, you know, or a closet, and they just, you know, it stays out of the way, and every time they have a battery, they just throw it in there. Now, people are going to say, I, I know they're going to say, they're going to say, okay, this is great, but it costs something. Exactly. There's, there's a fee involved in it. And, and uh, you said something to me off camera that uh, actually is pretty cool. You said, yeah, it does cost a few dollars to recycle batteries. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, recycling is attached to free, and that's not always the case. You know, things like glass and metals, those things have yeah. value. They can be recycled, as you guys have been some other recycling facilities, yeah. you can see where that stuff has value. Unfortunately, batteries can, you know, fortunately, there's no value to batteries. Although they can be recycled, and 100% of them can be recycled, what you get out of them after they're recycled doesn't really have a value. So. The problem is we can't, you know, we can't sell the, the end product sure. to make the money to cover the cost for yeah. the shipping. You saw the guys sorting there. Yeah. Um, so those are all big costs of ours, and the boxes. Um, that it, so the, the the end material doesn't doesn't generate enough profit to, to cover the cost of all the, sure, the sure. overhead and, and sorting and shipping and everything like that. So for a small yeah. fee, you know, we make we try to make it affordable. Though I mean, these range in price from twenty four ninety five to seventy four dollars for a big you know big bucket like this. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if you break that out to you know it could be a couple bucks a month. You know, and, and to keep them. From landfills and and people uh, you know are happy to do that to know that they're you know not not ending up in their landfills. Absolutely, it's a couple bucks to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. just, just, just give me that. That's pretty much a couple, couple bucks, bucks to do the right it. thing. Here's your fun fact: Americans purchase nearly three billion dry cell batteries every year to power radios, toys, cellular phones, watches, laptop computers, and portable power tools. Look at all look at all the batteries. Toy batteries, more toys, and then more toys. So you saw these being sorted sort at the last facility yeah. into these big boxes. So then this is this is the final step. So these actually came from that other warehouse uh, to, to our to our location here. Will then be put in the machine for recycling. You know what's crazy is it's all being sorted. And <laughs> this box was filled up by human hands. Yes, it was. One That's at a, a time, yep. over and over yep. and over. So we know that these are all alkaline, or what we call a pure stream of alkaline. So we know when they put these in the machine, it's only those type of batteries. Okay. Now, what is alkaline? Did, I don't, we briefly said it, but what exactly is alkaline? Well, well, we'll show you the components of it later, but essentially it's a very simple battery, um, which, which makes it the most inexpensive battery, and the most popular one is it really contains zinc, a manganese, uh, uh, potassium hydroxide, which is the electrolyte, and then it has a steel casing. And that's pretty much what makes up a battery. So we'll, we'll, we'll see those materials when we get into the recycling process. You, you know, it's funny because what you just said kind of described what energy drinks are. Yeah. I mean, think <laughs> Probably about not it. a lot different, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's zinc yeah. right. and uh, electrolytes. Right. Yep. And that's what yeah. a battery is, yep. right? Yep. That's why the energy drinks give you energy. There you go. Exactly right. Power I, I to you. Yes. The light bulb just went <laughs> off. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see what the inside of these batteries look like. I've always wondered. Uh -huh. I see them corroded, but yep. I never know what the inside of them look like. Yep, we'll show you. Well, what's the first step now? We'll show you, we'll take you over the process, and we'll show you how they get fed into the machine. Look at this big blue curtain here. What are batteries made of? I think probably minerals or like little stuff that, like science stuff. Metal? Iron? Metal, cardboard, acid. I don't know. <laughs> uh, a lot of batteries are lead and some type of uh, chemical within it. Uh, metal and acid. So everything's going on inside of this? Yeah, you can hear it running now. And that's basically the machine running and breaking up the batteries into the different components. Oh, wow. So, so basically, that, that big box that we were just looking at gets yeah. dumped into this machine here. 
So it lifts it up, all 3,000 pounds of it, wow. lifts it up, dumps it into the, what we call a hopper here. Yeah. This uses vi vibrations. You can see how it's vibrating? Yeah. So that basically it releases you know, a few batteries at a time so you don't get too many in there. And then they go into the uh, what we call the shredders and magnets, which separates it. So behind this curtain is what shredders. Exactly. And they break them in. They break them into a smaller piece from here, and then it goes into the actual magnets, and where it really grinds it up even more. So there's a, a few different steps before they get ground up into little pieces. We'll see later. Now, why the curtain? Basically, it just it makes it cleaner. You know, so you don't we're not getting as much dust and things like that out here and noise. Here's your fun fact. The world's largest battery was built in Fairbanks, Alaska, and weighed over 1,400 tons. All right, so you know what batteries look like typically. We're about to see what they look like when they're all separated. Exactly. It's scary in here. <laughs> so what's this right here? That's the zinc manganese concentrate. So it's a very fine powdery uh, substance that comes out there. And then you've got your steel here. That's all the steel. Wow. You can see it. Coming off of there. Oh, it's shooting yeah, out of there. Yeah, shooting out of there. I don't want to stick yeah, my hand right yeah. there. And then you'll see the last one over here is a paper plastic mixture. All in all, from that end to this end, what? A couple, couple seconds? Yeah, not long. I mean, uh, yeah, less than a minute. Yeah. Wow. All right. So now I see all these boxes out here. So these, these, these are all alkaline batteries waiting to be recycled. Okay. And is this what magnesium? Yep. And then here's your zinc well, manganese. Not magnesium. I'm saying it wrong, right? Yeah. It's a manganese. Ma manganese, manganese, right? It's totally different yeah. from magnesium. Zinc manganese concentrate, and that's kind of, and it's actually warm sometimes when it comes out of there because of all the friction. And what will the zinc, th this manganese, become or be used for? Zinc can be used in a variety of things like uh, medicines, fertilizers. I mean, there, zinc is a, it's a very popular compound. It can be used, and it can be reused to make new batteries. So you're telling me that. Stuff coming out as batteries could be put back in our medicine. Absolutely. Yep. Really. Yep. And that's again, we're saving the you know the environment by not having to remine that those materials um, and, and being reused. Uh, people are going to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, is that what gives me all the energy when I have some in my medicine? Yeah. Same thing that goes in your batteries, the same thing that goes in your, some of your medicines. <laughs> that's crazy. The company's allowing you to say that, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Well, all right, now what about the metals? What are you gonna do with all the metals? It can be used for anything from construction. They use it for rebarb, you know, that it's like basically a rod that goes into cement that it reinforces cement. Oh, okay. So steel can be used for any variety of things. So you give the steel to uh, what, a small a, Yep, a mill basically, and they'll, they'll you know basically make it into steel bars or whatever they want with it. All right, so Justin, in here is, uh, what, what's this in it's here? It's a paper plastic mixture. It's a paper plastic mixture, huh? Oh, so this is like the top of the batteries and the... Yeah. The, you know, the cover, the Duracell cover, whatever kind of cover it has, Energizer. Now, that's casing. a lot of covers in here. Yeah, that's a lot of batteries. That's a lot of batteries. Why does everything look black now? Yeah, well, because of the zinc and the manganese, you know, that's it's a black mass, so it may, kind of turns everything black. Yeah. And more, this is all going to the landfill, you said? Nope, not to the landfill. It's actually going to a plastic and paper recycler, and it actually it'll be filtered and refined and, uh, and cl essentially cleaned up. The, you know, behind this curtain, too, you were telling me about the other part of this being green. Was that about zero emissions? Exactly. So this is, you know, typically before when, when alkaline batteries were recycled, it was we, they used a thermal process or a heat process. Yeah. So it was great. You're recycling your batteries. They're not going landfills, but it's kind of a catch-22 because it's a, it was a kind of a messy way to recycle them. There was, you know, there was a lot of what we call emissions. So you know, uh, gas is getting released into the air and yeah. things like that, where they had, had to be vented and stuff like that. This is all enclosed. You can see everything behind this curtain is behind that curtain. There's nothing going off into the air. There's nothing We're going to go look. The, yeah, you, got, you check the roof. There's no vents or anything like that. So it's all self-contained, and that's what makes it green, the most green uh, process on the planet. It's all self-contained, and there's zero emissions of all. Here's your fun fact. Did you know evidence of batteries date back over 2,000 years? So this is a warehouse you said with the batteries you're recycling right now? Correct. We, this is where we store them. Uh, you know, they're stored at the, at the other facility we're at. They're, st they're <laughs> stored here, and then they're sent into the other uh, building next door, right next door for recycling. Batteries can be recycled, and, and I think we've shown that here today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And most places, you know, if you're uncertain what to do, the best thing to do locally would be to contact who? Uh, you can locally contact your lo local household hazardous waste department uh, yeah. or, or, or a solid waste division, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll know. I mean, if you contact some of that wherever you're at, They'll know where to tell you to, mm -hmm. to send your batteries. Mm -hmm. Or if not, we just showed you a solution. Right, batterycycling.com. <laughs> <laughs>
Barry, solution. This is incredible, but like you said, the goal would be to fill this up 10 times Absolutely. over. Let's see if we can do that this year. Uh, yeah, let's try. Let's do that this month. Let's try. That's our goal. Yeah, let's see if we can do that. Justin, I want to thank you. My hands are dirty. Mine are too. Wow, look, look at that, man. Your yeah. hands are more dirty. Yeah, but I can clean mine really fast. <laughs> <That's fast. laughs> <laughs> Bam! Clean. Look at that. Uh, dirty. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, seriously, thank yeah, you very no. much. Thanks, Joel. I want to thank Justin and everyone out here at Battery Solutions for teaching us how and what happens to the recycling process in batteries. And I especially want to thank you, Ellie, for setting us on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. Now, if there's something that you're curious about, why don't you let me hear from you? Go to curiositycuest.org, click on the Send Us On A Quest link, and simply tell me what you're curious about. And it could be you that sends us on our next green adventure. Now remember, this is our planet, and it's our responsibility to take care of it. So I wonder, have you gone green? I'm Joel Green, and I'll see you next time. Batteries are great. When you're feeling low on energy. You looked a little tired earlier. I thought maybe we should change your batteries out. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. Can you yeah. do that for yeah, me? Sure. Can you just stick them on my back? There you go. You're good to go. Hey, I'm really good now, Justin. How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, I'm ready to go. It's really good. It's good. It work. Right. I just actually more text. I love it here. Battery Solutions here in Michigan. This is Michigan, 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 Michigan. You're saying it right now. You know, I'm saying it right now. It's so great. I love the batteries right now. I think you're wearing out, though. I think it's great. If you'd like to order a copy of this episode or a previous episode, visit us at www.curiositycuest.org.